Hey everyone, Presito here. So in today's video, I'm going to be covering a topic that I've been asked a lot about, and that is finding tokens as early as possible and getting in as early as possible at the lowest possible market cap, and also how to analyze these tokens to make sure they're not rugs and that you don't get wrecked. And keep in mind, it's not as simple as just finding it early and aping, but you have to do proper DD and have proper alpha on it in order to ape. But if you're spending a lot of time doing proper due diligence on this newly listed token, then you might not have enough time to ape. So you have to kind of balance the two. You have to be efficient in how you do your research and due diligence on the token. So you have time to get in. So I wouldn't say actually finding tokens early is one of the best ways to make crypto. It's certainly not what I focus on. I think there's better ways to make gains in crypto. Also, you have to keep in mind there's so many tokens listed every hour, hundreds and hundreds. And even the ones that are completely legit and safe still are likely just to die off and you're not going to make gains. So it's really one in a thousand or hundred that are going to do really good. And it's really tough to find these. But there are ways that you can find them. And even using these ways, it's still hit or miss. So you have to really keep that in mind. So finding tokens early and aping is definitely a way to make crazy gains in crypto but it's also a way that you can get really wrecked if you're not careful so hopefully this video will help you not get wrecked and do proper research in finding these tokens as early as possible and hopefully making pro gains so stay tuned for the end of the video because there i'm going to be covering the number one most important thing to find tokens as early as possible that are properly pro so make sure you stay tuned until the end of the video for that so anyways let's jump into the first steps so the first step obviously is just how to find them so obviously you need to find tools that will tell you okay this is the tokens that are newly listed so i'm going to be covering four things with regards to this the first thing is deck screener so i'm sure most of you know about deck screener already it's a really good tool so over here you just go to deck screener on the top left here you can see new pairs and then you just you'll be able to see all the new pairs you can sort it by what you want you can also filter it here so within uh, 24 hours or you can sort it within the last hour what has the best volume or things like that but if you really want to see the newest you have to sort it here by age and here it will show you there was this one listed two minutes ago three minutes ago 14 minutes you can see there's really a lot and keep in mind also deck screen it doesn't show you every single token that's listed but it shows you a, a chunk of them so this is one way and obviously if you click on the token it'll take you to more information about it it even has a built-in security system here where you can check out uh, some info on it to see whether it's likely a rug or not but i'm not going to cover that just yet because i'll be covering that a bit later in the video when i cover analyzing tokens to make sure that they are as safe as possible so that will be later in the video now i'm just going to be showing you the four ways which you can actually find new pairs so this is one way the next one which I covered in a recent video, is using the Unibot new token scanner. So if we click view in Telegram, so we can see here the new token scanner, and here it will show us all the newly listed tokens as they get listed. So you can see a token launched, it had eight snipes, so it's quite cool because it shows you some other information as well. Also what's cool is you can import it directly to the Unibot sniper, and it's also got some other information here, like links to DEX analyzer, hp check and also has some built-in functions here which show you the status it's deployed it's not verified yet and lp is not locked yet shows you the tax as well so that's quite a cool feature and tool to use to find newly listed tokens so that is using the unibot new token scanner uh, bot the next one is also a telegram bot and that is f new pairs which is really a popular one and it's one of my favorite because it has a lot of built-in tools for example this uh, same one showed in the Unibot one, this Hermione Granger, Hillary Clinton Tail 69 Inu. <laughs> so here it shows the contract address, holders, current market cap, liquidity. It also tells you automatically here whether it looks safe or not. Obviously, if it says it looks safe here, there's still a lot of other things you need to check because it may say it looks safe, but you can still get rugged in a million different ways. It shows you the buy and sell tax, which is really high for this token. It links also to their Telegram and Twitter. That is also a really cool feature that they have. And what's really nice about this as well is that it links you to their Dex tools, Dex screener, TaxWatch, 
quick Intel um, edit scan. Also TTF, which is a bot I'm going to be talking about shortly, which is really a cool bot to use. Also, it links you to Maestro and Maestro Pro. So you can just click on that and it'll pop up in Maestro so you can quickly buy it if that's something you want to do. And also links you to Unibot. So that's why I prefer this almost more than the previous bot I mentioned. So anyways, moving on, let me talk about the fourth way which you can find tokens early. And that is just simply by watching my first video in this series of maximizing your crypto profits, which is wallet tracking. So I think that's actually the best way, honestly, because if you track wallets that have alpha and inside info, then that's what you actually want. You want to follow wallets which are buying tokens and you know this wallet has insider info or has certain alpha or is an influencer or something like that. So by copying them, you know, the token has a very high chance of being legit. So you can see as soon as they buy something, you can quickly do some more due diligence and then decide for yourself to buy. So it really increases your chances of getting good tokens when they launch. So definitely check out that video that I made. As I said, it's the first video in the series. So that's definitely worth checking out. That's the fourth way that you can find. And explaining that is takes a whole video. And that's why I'm just referring you guys to that first video. So anyways, now let's have a look at this TTF bot. So TDF bot, you can add to Telegram groups if you want, or you can just use it directly like this. So I actually checked it out here with that token that we saw here. So here it says this new token is listed. So if I click on this TTF bot, it can give you immediately some more information on it. So it's saying here, uh, it's not mintable. It's not a honeypot. So that's already quite good. But the contract holds 11.5% of the token supply. So you have to be careful about that. It shows you links to the token, the deployer, what chain it's on and uh, LP unlocked. So it's good to see that quickly. Obviously, if it's locked and it's just launched, that could be a good sign. But in this case, it's unlocked. So obviously, that's another red flag. Tax is really high. Again, another red flag. And this links as well to Dex View, Dex Tools, and Dex Screener. And here it shows you some other information like the team wallets and uh, the holders and so on. So let's have a look at Dex Screener. This is the next thing that I want to cover about the analysis tools so if we go to deck screener here let's just wait for this to load but it takes us to the page of that token this hermione granger let's just call it doge token this meme token so now we can see the chart here uh if it's very new just uh, sorted by one second we can see more information about liquidity the market cap and buys and sells and the volume but already on deck screener which is a cool analysis tool in itself it shows here under go security there's five issues with it so it did say it was safe on the on the bot but turns out maybe it's not so safe because you can see here sell tax is 20 percent tax is modifiable so they could change that tax to 100 percent trading cooldown is there as well and if you don't know what it is it shows you whether the contract has a trading cooldown mechanism that can limit the minimum time between two transactions so they could make it so you buy and you can't sell for 10 years or something like that. Anyways, buy tax is also really high and they have a blacklist function. So if you buy, they can just blacklist you and you can't sell. So already it's interesting to see this and see that it's actually not as safe as you thought. Also on token snuffer, if we go here, also here it links you to all the different charts. Also what's cool is you can click on bubble map and see how the holder distribution is. And again, I covered that in my first video of maximizing crypto profits in wallet tracking so if you're interested to know more about bubble maps check out that video you can see the score zero out of a hundred this token has extremely high sell fee and also ownership renounce or source does not contain an owner contract and all holders possess less than five percent of token circulating supply so it tells you a bit more about everything also liquidity analysis it says it's enough liquidity but 95 of it isn't locked or burned so that is not good. You can see already based on this analysis, it's definitely one to avoid. And obviously this uh, information all changes depending on the token that you're looking at. So let's have a look at some of the other sites that we can use to analyze. So I'm just going to stick to the same token because that's just the random one we found on the Unibot and F uh, new token scan finder. So let's have a look at the next site that I want to use, which is Dex Analyzer. So here you want to go to analyzer and then you're just going to paste the contract of the token that you found and here's going to give you another analysis report it's going to tell you here scam risk level so this has suspicious functions trade status very high tax that's a red flag lp status uh, if it's locked or not 
currently unknown for them but we could see on the other sites we use that it's unlocked which is not good and at the bottom here it tells you the main things to be aware of which is suspicious codes and it conflicts with fundamentals of smart contracts so that's one definitely to avoid also based on this so let's have a look at another website which is moon arch so this one also is good for analysis we're just going to paste that same contract here what's cool is you can see liquidity is just owned by the owner so that is not good i'll see if it's burnt that's much better also here it tells you a rug check information so it says your owner has 99 percent of the liquidity remove limits can modify tax amount and check usage of hidden address tax wallet so it goes quite a bit more in depth here with what's wrong with the contract which can get you wrecked so this is another really cool website to check out for more information then another website which is really pro to use is honeypot.is so this is quite a popular one here you just simply paste the contract address of the token that launched and it'll tell you whether it's a honeypot or not honeypot means you won't be able to sell it so if it is like that it'll pop up here saying in red and say honeypot don't buy it basically just avoid this in this case it gives you a warning to proceed with caution with this token and it says warnings the taxes on the circles are extremely high and it gives you a simulation result with uh, all the information so also according to this it's one to really be wary of and keep in mind if you have to search one in here and it says green and says it's all good that doesn't mean again that it's all good you will need to check out some other sites and so on then the last site i want to show you guys is this app.quickintel.io so here again you want to paste the contract over here choose a blockchain and so on in this case it's ethereum and then click scan so here's going to give you some more information as well it says two red warning indicators so those are very concerning ones and then caution indicators which are ones that are also kind of concerning then there's good indicators so here it will tell you exactly which ones are the issues like here can whitelist can update taxes some other issues is that it's not renounced but that's not always the end of the world so that's why it's in yellow potential blacklist function says that has that feature so that's also not too good contains suspicious actions and you can see some more information here with regards to the liquidity it says liquidity is low and it's not locked so you have to be cautious with this one so again using this tool it tells you ready to be careful so that is definitely one to avoid based on all of these tools so those are all the tools that you can use to check out analysis on new tokens so as i went through you can check those new tokens put them in all these websites and again you don't need to use all of them but i would recommend using at least two because as you can see as i covered some of them show that it's okay and probably worth buying and others show it's not worth and keep in mind like i said in the beginning of the video even if it's worth buying and it says there's nothing wrong with it it doesn't mean it's just going to moon it could just die off and that brings me to my number one most important thing about finding tokens and alpha as early as possible and i've covered this many times in previous videos and that is connections and alpha groups so personally the way i found tokens early the most is just being in private groups by being active and making connections and these people add you to groups which is just discussion about new tokens and the force of a hundred people in a private group all researching tokens and sharing what they find is way more than you could ever do on your own especially with some of the genius minds that are in these groups and that brings me to the point that i did make a private group of my own and i've got my main group but i decided to make it just because uh, i want to reward basically people that are really active and share alpha and everything like that so the people that are active i'll definitely add to that main group and i have added some and we've been discussing some uh cool opportunities in there so it's definitely worth being a part of and i'm still going to be sharing a lot of uh, alpha and opportunities in the main telegram group so definitely make sure you're part of that but i honestly think being in these alpha groups is the most valuable thing you can possibly have in crypto so that is something to consider and i have covered in previous videos again how you can be part of these groups but the main thing is just connections and speaking to people and making friends and so on so hopefully you guys found this video valuable as always i'd appreciate it if you can subscribe to the youtube channel uh, leave a comment and uh, join my telegram and twitter and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching Thank you.